what I teach is how to find your Ishta Devata. The process is, it's really an intuitive process. And that's what I do. I find Ishta Devatas for people. It's something what I encourage is for people to look around and see what intuitively feels right. And it's amazing, in about over 90% of the cases, I find Ishta Devatas are right on. For instance, I ask nurses who have not seen any of these murtis just to look around and see what feels that like they, it grabs them. Invariably, they all point to like Thara or Kuan Yin. It's amazing. And the thing to realize is you may have more than one Ishta Devata. Like for instance, mine is Ganesh, Hanuman, Durga. You may have feminine for a masculine. It's called uh, what Carl Jung called anima or a f masculine for a feminine. It's what Carl Jung called uh, animus. Your Ishta Devatas can change with time. It, you know, because your circumstances, your body and mind changes with time. I'll give you an example. About five years ago, I was in Cincinnati for a yoga event and I was sleeping in a hotel and I wake up at 10 minutes to 2, 1.50 in the morning with a dream about Ma Durga, Goddess Durga, which is very interesting because I've never had a dream about Durga. I've never felt any connection with Goddess Durga. And I was wondering why did I wake up at that time because it's, you know, right in the middle of the night. I may wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning. Why did I wake up? 10 minutes later at 2 o'clock, the fire alarm went on and we evacuated the hotel. So the point is these Ishta Devatas come to you sometimes and they help protect you and they help guide you. So since then, Goddess Durga has been one of my Ishta Devatas. So mine is Ganesh, Hanuman and Durga.